Randy, obviously we thought we'd get to see you in December. That didn't work out that way. I guess just want to ask you, I mean, you know, was that an easy decision for you to make? Or was it a tough one that people had to talk you into? How did that all go down? Uh, a little bit of both. You know, I was sick, so um, obviously I want to fight. I'm trying to fight through it. You know, coaches are there to kind of keep you from yourself sometimes. So, you know, the typical, typical stuff. I want to go. They're like, no, you put in all the work. You feel like, you know, damn, you wasted, wasted all that work, wasted all that time, wasted all that money in going into a camp. But we made it happen, so it was all good. Afterwards, it worked out. It made sense for me to not fight because if I fought, I wouldn't have looked good. So uh, Afterwards, I think you were like, hey, give me Michael Chiesa instead. You were trying to change up the matchup, right? <laughs> was, was that a fight you wanted? or? or yeah, it's not even I was trying to switch up the matchup. I, I just figured I wasn't going to get to fight Muslim because of Ramadan, and I didn't think I was going to get a quick turnaround. So I was just like, I wasn't really hearing nothing back. So I said, you know what, Kiesa's been in the rankings. It's a guy that's been not very active in the rankings. You know what I mean? And I think that fighters should be have, should have to fight, you know what I mean, to be in the rankings and prove yourself. You know, so if you're not fighting, how long can you not fight and still be ranked? So I figured, you know what, me and him could maybe mix it up, you know. Yeah. So when this when they came back and said, no, let's put this one back together, were you disappointed, excited? What were you thought? No, nah, I, listen, I just want to get in there and scrap. For me, I wanted to fight, so and he he wanted to fight as well. So, no, nah, I wasn't really I wasn't really disappointed. I was just trying to get another fight, you know. And I think that I should be fighting upwards and moving forward into the rankings, you know, given my track record. So, um, I was just trying to fight up. Yeah. Uh, seven week move, I think, on it. Was that ideal? But I know, like you said, you don't want to waste time, but you want to fight. Or was it a challenge to kind of get healthy again and, and continue training? Like, what did you think about the schedule? Um, it was a quick turnaround, you know. But I did what I needed to do. You know, we went through camp. We, we took a week or two to kind of figure out if that's something we wanted to do, if my body was going to respond right. It responded well. And um, yeah, so we're here. Nice. So I guess you prepared for him twice now. Uh, what, what do you think of him as an opponent? I mean, obviously, he has a very unique style and uh, can be exciting. Uh, I guess, what do you think of him as an opponent? I think he's tremendous. I think he's tremendous. I think that uh, explosive guy, you know what I mean? A lot of the newer people don't really know much about him, but I, I know what's up. I've been watching him for a while. He was ranked 12 at one point. Um, dangerous guy. Doesn't matter the age or anything like that. Doesn't matter. I think that he's still the same guy that he's been. And someone to have to take extremely serious. I think he's, I think he's dangerous. I think it's a tough fight for me. Yeah, he he was here earlier and said he respects you a lot. And he's like, your frame is insane. He's like, I know I can't stay at normal range or I'm yeah. in trouble. So, are you expecting him to be, you know, just crazy aggressive and trying to press forward on you? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I do. I expect him to come throw the kitchen sink at me, but we're prepared for it. I love it. You win this fight. I think it should be an exciting fight. Mm -hmm. As you said, you were eyeing the rankings. Is that kind of the next focus? Is like, hey, the next one's got to be a ranked opponent. I mean, it makes you tell me. What do you think? I think it makes sense. It makes sense. <laughs> like, like at this point, like, what are we doing? Right? What are we doing? I mean, you know, uh, absolutely. I think it doesn't matter whoever's in the rankings. I think I should be next up, either in the rankings after this or fighting someone in the rankings after this. But um, you know, I got to focus on this dude first. You know, so once I get past him, we'll, we'll take care of that. Absolutely. Last thing for me, as you said, maybe some people aren't familiar with the style or what have you, but it is exciting. Yours is exciting. On paper, this looks like it's going to be exciting. Is that kind of what you're expecting out of this matchup? Um, I'm expecting him to bring everything that he brings. He brings a, a fast pace, explosive punches early on, explosive kicks. And I expect me to just do what I do. You know what I mean? Wherever it goes, I want to show that I'm the better fighter, whether it be stand up, whether it be on the ground. It does not matter. Um, I'm looking to go in there and dominate. Question for you, when you have a guy that's going to throw the kitchen sink at you, like you said, is footwork the most important thing at that point? Because, you know, to be able to throw your stuff and kind of counteract them, does footwork become a big factor in a fight like that? Um, it could be, depending on the style of the approach of the fight. How do I want to approach it? It could be. For, when you look at, at him, like, and if he's going to put that pressure on you, what's going to be the key for you to get your distance where you want it to be and, and be able to get your stuff off when you have that much pressure? You want me to come in here and tell you exactly yes. what I'm going to do? <laughs> exactly. Is that what you're to? <laughs> Why not? Um, no, the key is for me to go in there and win and get the job done in any way that I can. I mean, obviously, you know I'm not a stationary fighter, so either way, that's what y'all going to see when I fight. You know, I'm going to, of, of course, I'm going to display some good footwork, you know what I mean? Beautiful movement you know, good range control. But if not, you know, I'm going to show them that we can sit in the pocket and do what it do. 
last thing is just how are you different as a fighter now? Five of six wins. Do you feel like mentally your game is on point, and has that kind of changed where you know led to your success in recent fights? Um, I guess. I mean. Something that I've been stressing over the past couple of years, and I mean, everybody knows I've been here. I've grew up here. I came in the UFC when I was 6-0. and I was a baby, man. I was, was not ready. They threw me in there, and it was sink or swim. And I swam. I swam my ass off, and, and I'm here, and I'm growing, and everyone got to see me, you know. They saw me trip up along the way. They saw me have success, normal, right? And, um, yeah, so there's a ton. I'm just a big diff I'm a different guy. I'm a different animal completely. What is the confidence thing like? Because I'm sure, at, you know, at the high level you guys are at, you know, the confidence g comes and goes at different mm -hmm. times. As you were making your way and you're finding, hey, I can do this. I can compete with these guys. Like, is there any moment when it was like, aha, I know I'm good enough to beat anybody in this division? For sure. For sure. There was a moment. Um, and it, it, oddly enough, it didn't happen in a fight. It started to happen in the rooms, in the practice rooms. It's that the guys you get around and the performances that you have in the gym, the, you know, not performances, but, you know, you're training and the guys are pushing you. You're taking, you know, you're doing better in the room. You know what I mean? And guys are pushing you and your day-to-day -day grind. You're able to manage training better. You become more of just a professional all the way around. And then my confidence comes from the preparation. You know what I mean? That in turn gives you the, prep, the confidence, you know? So just being in the rooms with some killers, man, and just holding your own, you know, that's really it. Hey, Ryan, just a quick one. Uh, what's the best video game that you played last year? Last year? Oh, man. Bro, I play mad games. I play, I play, I play mad games. Um, lately, I went back to PUBG. I've been playing PUBG, um, but last year, damn. Um, multiplayer or single player? Single player, multiplayer, whatever you. Damn. I revisited Last of Us, been playing Last of Us. Um, I don't know, man. I, re I just been revisiting old games. So I went back to PUBG. I've been playing PUBG. Um, Forza, back on Forza as of late. You know, when I stream, I know y'all know I stream on Twitch, but when I stream, I don't game. So everybody else is asking me about games. I, when I game, my game time is like my time. I'm chilling. You know what I mean? When I game, I, I don't want to entertain or talk to anybody other than maybe my friends online. But um, when I'm streaming, I'm just chatting about whatever, fighting and all type of shit. But um, games, I just want to. I just use that as like my my time away from everything else. But Forza, PUBG. Um, Rainbow Six, uh, what else? As far as storyline games, I like games that you, you make a decision and it changes the outcome of the game. That's one of my favorite things because I make all the wrong decisions. Right? <laughs> so um, like 12 minutes, that was a fun one. You know, I play a lot of different games, man, a bunch.